you feel after that send, dog? Gary said he wants to go for a ride. Is it over? is that season three in the dirt. We're doing some off-roading, sending cars down the track. A Presented bit. by who, Georgia? Ooh, fuel, fuel. off-road. Four effing sin. Okay, Gary, let's get to racing. Get out my face. Oh. With us today, we have one of the cleanest full sizes, my man. Paul Fisher, otherwise known as All-American Sender. On the front end, instead of the I-beam setup for the OBS Fords, it's got center mount A-arm, independent front suspension with big king shock, power steering solutions, trophy truck steering rack. All motor, the big boy components. Motor set way back. What made you steer away from the I-beams and go with the center mount front arms? I had an I-beam truck before and it, it seemed to ride a little stiff. And then once I got in this thing, it's just like Cadillac modes. Everything's smooth. <laughs> Oh, that's nice. On gas shocks? Dude, this thing is far back there. How far back are we talking? We got the pulleys are right about here. Normally they'd be up here somewhere. This is so. beef, dude. All chrome molly, front end. I see, is this Cerakoted shocks? Cerakoted, blue, matches the American flag. Big radiator front, intake right there. You got two of them? Just the one and then cold air over here. Cold air over there. What's the platform of this engine? What kind of horsepower, torque? What are we working with? This is a LS3 525. You'll find those in a um, 6100 trophy truck. I think they put an aftermarket cam in there. So 560 to the crank-ish. Have we dynoed like it to the tire? What are we making through these 40 inch tires? To the 40 inch tire, it's 383. What's your final gearing? It's uh, uh, it's 543. 543, spicy. Three speed transmission? Turbo 400, three speed with the manual valve body. She bangs. She bangs! Very traditional. I see a Pro Eagle jack there for tire changes. We got two spares. I love that they're bolted down so they're secure. Most people run straps. This is a much cleaner way of doing that. I saw this little lever right here and an up and down switch. What do we got going on? No. Normally you'd have a rear cell, but in this one it's got a mid cell, so plenty of room for a trunk. I mean, uh, there's a couple cans back there. We, <laughs> what do you know? Bear me, baby. This is literally from 10 days in Ocotillo Wells. It's a mess in there, but. 10 days? How many miles do? you cover? 600 plus miles, 10 days, mostly in the air. How many jumps you slid? At least 100. 100? At least 100. And you came straight here? Yeah. Sick. So when you're rolling in this thing with the family, what's the most comfortable part about it? Closed cab, no dust, nice and cool in here due to the AC here. Does it have heat too? The heat comes from right here. Ah. Heat comes directly from the engine. <laughs> I like it. Just typical gate shifter, three speed there. What other features are in this, in this dash that looks like it's fiberglass? Yep, fiberglass dash. Got switch pros to control basically all the lighting, all the fans, everything that you need. You got all the street, everything for streets over here. So turn signals and all that stuff, horn is all street, and this is all dirt here. We got a Kenwood radio and PCI radio uh, intercom with four headsets for the family. Can play music, usually it's reggae. We got tune in. All American sender in the house. You know who you're racing? I'm racing Morgan Clark in the Truggy. The Truggy, that thing's pretty clean. But I'm not all American scrubber, so I'm gonna probably hit the jumps big. Sheesh. Let's go. What's up, man? Micah. Morgan Clark. Nice to meet you, dude. Welcome to the show. Thank you. This thing is beautiful. I, Thank you. I don't know anything about off-road stuff. I know I know a little bit of stuff. Nothing like this. What do you got? They call this a truggy, and for obvious reasons, it's a mixture of a truck and a buggy. Essentially, trophy truck style platform, tube chassis, but more of a narrowed chassis. A, a truck, you know, like the actual tube structure would be wider. Yeah, I know truggies from like RC cars. Sure. Same concept. Well, I think the derivative came from this, and then it goes to RC car. Gotcha. Yep. Gotcha. We were second. Yep. Yep. Okay, okay, you could have it. You could have it. Thank you. The 
this was built 15 years ago. We did a complete refresh on it. So like the, the chassis itself, like all the hard tube, that's all old. And, okay. the, and we got this thing and it was crusty and roached out. I'm about to come over and kick your ass. We did like what you'd call a frame off restoration for a hot rod or something, took everything down, rewired, replumbed, new exhaust, tuned the suspension, recoded everything, full body, windshield, all the stuff. You don't usually see windshields on stuff like this. Yeah, I mean, part of it was to have it street legal in Arizona. Oh, so this is street legal? It will be, yeah. Yeah, yeah. If I had one of these on the street, yep. I'd get in so much trouble. What are you thinking? Uh, this is gonna be awesome. The colorway on this thing is amazing. You got a root beer style brown yeah. on there, which I don't know if it's coming through on the camera. Your shocks aren't blue like typical Kings. Sure. They got a black. Is there like a special addition to them or how's that work? It's just from a sense of design. When you're going through the whole car, the shocks are already gonna get rebuilt. You know, the shocks are tuned and when they tune shocks properly, they take all their measurements, they corner scale the car and then they do a, you know internal valving on the bench before it goes out mm. in the desert. So when that stuff's already apart, it makes sense just to coat everything and have just it get all it all consistent. powder coated. Yeah. And then the giant beefy arms as well to go with that. That was pretty gnarly. These are all, did you make all this stuff too? Nope, this is all just stuff that was on the car and then we literally just went through everything and recoded it. We did add like trophy truck rack, steering rack. Uh, and then all the hardware too. All the hardware is RPI, aircraft certified hardware, like the same as like a Boeing jet would have yeah. for their landing gear. I, I can kind of tell because I, I could see the water pump pulley. Sure. But the motor's not obviously exposed like a lot of the buggies that are out here. This one's kind of tucked in underneath the dash and it looks like it has an LS in it. It's a Redline 427 LS3 base. 7.0. 6.3. So what kind of horsepower do you think you're making? 650 crank. Oh, that's uh, good. And then with cars like this, you lose a substantial amount right. through all that. So maybe it's at 430 or something. Oh, that's not too bad, especially no. for the dirt. Yeah, and it's got a 6.0 gear in the back. Okay. So it goes through the gears quick. Yeah, absolutely. Again, I'm just looking at the whole thing and sure. I'm noticing that your exhaust comes out the side Yep. and you've integrated steps onto it to totally. get in and out of it. Went with the theme of the car and the theme of the car is kind of like a Mad Max apocalyptic looking steampunk thing. So with the exhaust, all the steps coming in, you got this super rad scoop here just to kind of deviate the noise or the smoke or what you, the I just, style. So like our whole thing on building these cars is functional design. This kind of an exit is just something where you could just do something basic or you have an option to do something awesome. One of my guys call and he was doing this stuff and we just had a couple drops of like other cuts and he mm -hmm. put one up and I'm like, whoa, You're whoa, whoa, like, whoa. yeah, that might look good. Yeah. It's pretty rowdy, dude. Everything looks crazy on this. And then I'm noticing this big old giant freaking arm here. Yeah, the trailing arm. This is a trailing arm, right? Yep. Is there like a benefit to connecting it like here or further forward? or like, what's that deal? There's some pretty traditional stuff these days and it's a motion ratio thing. Like, you know, if you have this length shock, you have a length shock and you put it halfway in here, then your travel is exponentially greater. Back there. At the source where it's working. And then attached to that is these big old giant BFGs. Yeah, and that's your, this is your typical now. Everybody's on 40s now, huh? Everybody, it's, it's the simple math of, you know, the bigger the tire, the smoother the bumps. So the interior, just like the exterior, is beautiful. The whole point of a Truggy is you want that open feeling. You don't want to be completely sealed up in okay. a car, you know, and you want that vibe. That's why, like, if you look at the hood out there, there's tubes still, like, you know, there's still openings. Mm -hmm. So same, like, when we built, we built all the dash in here, same thing, like, we left a lot of this open instead of a, you know, like a normal instrument panel, which would have a bunch of shape here right. and draw over, like, it's just middle and symmetrical. Uh, all the gauges are custom Lavorsi gauges. You know, there's a glove box and storage in here. Oh, that's sweet. Uh, fire suppression, cup holders, charger ports, and then yeah, Turbo 400, just a fully built three speed. I'm a huge steering wheel guy too, so this PRP Terra collaboration steering wheel is pretty badass too. Yeah, man. this is the death grip. Yeah. So this, this was the very first one they made. Yeah, hopefully you don't have to give it a death grip today. I think you just <laughs> end up doing that. <laughs> <laughs> You're driving fast enough, right? So look, the Truggy is like super badass, but one of the things that he caught me with was that it was a client's car. With that being said, I'm probably gonna go with the all-American sender, dude. My heart says that Paul's gonna take it because he knows how to drive the shit out of that truck. I'm going all-American, a wheelbase. It's gonna make a huge difference. Going with the Truggy. I'm a buggy door. Truggy, buggy, you know all done. I'm going with the OBS Ford. Number one, it's got a <laughs> cool ass tent. Number two, it's orange. Number three, it's a full-size truck. Let's go. 
Like he's getting air, bro. He's getting air. But honestly, like my heart tells you that this this Ford, I just like that it's a full size truck. So that's what I'm voting for. Jerry got the speed on him. He's just gotta lose the belly. Yeah. Loses the belly, dude. I'm intimidated oh all day God. long. Let's have a series where we just watch Gary lose weight and get cut as hell. What was it? Yeah. What was it? Half a car? Like so Paul went so big. Oh, I it's about you. a car. Maybe about a car. Yeah, at least a car. It's like a probably truck. About one a, car. Probably about by a one car. O, by one OBS. Paul, I think we just tell him Paul gets the hit. Yeah, that's that's the fair race. It's that's just that Paul was gets close. Hit. That's close though. That's great. I think yeah. if Paul could keep it little a little lower on the second jump, he can get a better <laughs> run at this. We don't say that. How do you feel after that send, dog? <laughs> that second one was pretty big. That oh, was huge. <laughs> All right, he got you by one truggy length. We're gonna we're gonna let you hit. Gary's gonna have his arms in the air, and then you go whenever whenever his arms are in the air. You go, and that's your hit. And then he's gonna chase after that. I lost first. Uh, lost first. Oh, he lost first. As soon as you see Paul hit, you chase him. As soon as he moves? As soon as he moves. Okay. Does he know I only have seconds? <laughs> <laughs> he does not. Surprise, Buggy got it by at least half Okay, half let's go hour. find out, let's go find out. Yeah. Shit was tight. Dude. That was dead even. Those boys went so I think the big. truck got it. Ah, uh, dude, truck. I really want all sender. The truck got it that time for sure. I don't know, man. I think I think Morgan ran him down at the end there. Oh, let's go find out. Truggy, half a car. What? Check this out. I got me. Hey, but All American Center won it in my heart, you know? Show us your face. 
That's what he looks like. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> yeah. Gary said he wants to go for a ride in the All American Tender. His, I'm, I'm too big for his seats. Oh. Oh. Come here, Gary. Come here, sweetheart. Look at, I'll just stand in the bed. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> you ready? Well, right, congrats well. on the win. Thank, Thank both you. of you guys yeah. for coming out. Guys, Great don't job. Kill it. Yeah, you, <laughs> <laughs> you got to make it up. <laughs>